The whistle, an early look for Tatum, and early free throws as well. Mitchell, looking to find space, zigging, zagging, and finishing Donovan Mitchell. Horford splash on a three. Horford, a free release to the rim, and a 9-2 start to game two with 7-0 Celtics run. Here's a Coro quick trigger and a connection on a three. Here's Brown, meets Mobley and finishes over him. Tatum draws two, good movement here, White connects on a three. Timeout Cleveland. Garland. Zips inside and serves it in. Nice take from Darius Garland. Here's Strews on the move. Mobley pushes it down around Tatum. Mobley one-on-one -on -one with Horford. Attacks, cups, and finishes. There you go. Timeout Boston. Hauser in off the bench for Boston. Little pull-up jumper is good. Here's Mobley. Cornette in for Horford for Boston. Struz attacking again, lays it up and in. Max Struz again putting it on the deck. Well, Max Struz has really been kind of that jolt for them. Mobley again, able to flush it down. Here's Mitchell. Mobley turns one-on-one -on -one with Cornette, able to finish again. An aggressive Evan Mobley. And Cleveland has hit its last five shots. It's tied at 19. Brown dips in and banks it home. That's a difficult finish from Jalen Brown. He's becoming more and more efficient with how he moves and how he moves off the ball. And what a finish there by Karis LeVert. That's what they need. LeVert thinking about the three instead of attacking Cornette. Waits, can't put it in. The follow is good for Karis LeVert. Mitchell separating from Tatum. A Mobley three. Oh, yeah! That is some found money in the Evan Mobley bank. Robbing it to Lavert underneath for the easy lay. Tatum separates, no call, takes, and hits. Well, George Niang having some trouble with that true holiday matchup. Pass behind Garland. Pritchard lays it in. Nice response from Boston and a timeout taken by J.B. Bickerstaff. Garland's three is good. That puts Cleveland back in front. Mobley resting at the moment. And now it's 8-0 Boston in that paint. So I like what the Boston Celtics are doing. <laughs> Horford, he got it. On a corner three. Laverne missed the layup. Tillman the rebound. Here comes Holiday. Tatum to Holiday for the flush. Here's Tatum spinning, taking, and hitting. Those are the shots you want. You just don't want catch and shoot as Karis Levert continues his hot start here in the first half. Brown gets denied by Mobley on the pass attempt. Gets it back, though. Here's White. He got it. Little push shot from Derek White. Levert missed it, knew it, follows it up and puts it in. Brown, pump takes the three. Goes to the left hand. How about that finish from Jalen Brown? Struess on the attack, reverses it in. Well, the Cavs certainly making a more concerted effort to attack the rim tonight. Horford, oh, gets the roll. Porzingis applauds. Guarded by Tatum, Mitchell got it to go on the long two. Mobley the rebound, his fifth. Okoro got free and lays it in. Here's Mitchell. Finds Mobley, great look, and Mobley finishes. Brown to the rack. Mitchell, the step back three. Mitchell did not call his own number often in that first half. At five assists, went into playmaking mode as White rattles in the jumper. Here's Tatum looking to shift around. Mobley can't bank it in. Garland off and running. Gets it ahead to Okoro for the flush. Here's Brown into the paint, unable to finish. Mobley looked like there was a lot of contact there. Would have been number three, no call. Mitchell lobbing it up, and Mobley 
Tate hooping the alley. Tatum pumps it in, plus the foul. Here's Garland. Jittering and gets denied. White was sizing him up the whole time. Brown muscling his way in, flips it home, plus the foul. Garland eight points, three of six from the floor, two of three from three, a deep one. He got it. Now, do the Cavs have enough offensive production to get a burst? Oh, there's a burst. Donovan Mitchell from three. White, two on one with Tatum. Tatum reverses it in. Garland working with the Mobley screen. A Coral flies in. Timeout, Boston. And that was really impactful in game one. Great D as well as Garland hits again. Darius Garland with his third three of the quarter. Mitchell leans in, gets the roll, plus the foul. As Pritchard just beats Cleveland right down the floor for the lay. And great job by Boston getting it up and pushing it ahead. Lavert falling away and flips it in. Ultimately, this is why those free throws and getting downhill and attacking the paint has been so important. Mitchell again from three. It's been so important because the Cavs are hot from three. Tatum swivels in. There you go, trying to get it going in the paint. Tatum with 23. Richard spinning, stops, and finishes. That's a tough take from Peyton Pritchard. Two seconds left. Mitchell gets it off. You pick! Donovan Mitchell at the horn. Defensively, what areas do you want to tighten up here in the fourth quarter? Now they're hitting tough shots. Uh, we have to be better. And uh, the fourth quarter here, we just have to tighten up. Here's Mitchell leaning and banking it in. Does the shrug afterwards. Deep three. Off the mark. Holiday the rebound. Another chance. Pritchard gets that one. 12-point Cavs lead. Mitchell spinning, laying in, finishing. And they are out rebounding. Mitchell swimming inside and pops it home. Donovan Mitchell taking over. Struess connects. On a three, the Cavaliers are plus 15 from three-point range to what happened in game two of Boston's first round series against Miami, where the Heat shot the lights out. Celtics struggled from three, and Miami evened things up at one apiece. Tatum barrels in and banks it home. Mitchell trapped into the corner. Struess's three is good. Here's Lavert. Attacks, jitters, and hits. It is all Cleveland in Boston. Garland whirling, bouncing. Mobley, the strong finish from Evan Mobley. A playoff career high, 21 points. Yeah, those two gentlemen loving it. You have a bigger defender in front of you, and you just kind of look at him and shoot a three. You could get a better shot as Karis LeVert continues his outstanding game two. Game three of this series will be Saturday night on ABC. LeVert lays it in, another assist from Donovan Mitchell, his eighth. As Springer lays it in. That's what you're gonna need from him. You're gonna need more bursts from him if they're going to sustain being in games long-term with the Boston Celtics. Is there anything from this game that will leave a lingering concern for the Celtics. No concern, a absolutely not. Coming on, one minute, five seconds to go in the fourth. Walsh serves it in. Cavs got out-rebounded by 17 in game one. They are a plus 13 on the glass tonight. They've hit five more threes than Boston. And that will do it. An impressive game two win from the Cleveland Cavaliers. And this series is tied at one game apiece.